Breaking news. How Femi Fani Kayode sold Sunday Boho Unandi Kano. You will be shocked to get all the details. What really happened? My people, the truth is beginning to come out. We don't know how true this is, but there are indications that Femi Fani Kayode may have done some things that have sold this set of people away. Remember, he was always with Sunday Bo, who went to his house, have discussions with him, with him, posted it on his Facebook, you know, show support and all that and all that and all that. Runo Mokri is saying, well, this Femi Fani Kayode you are saying is not a genuine person. Is that person you don't want to be your friend? And he likened him to what happened in the Bible saying, uh, Femi Fani Kayode actually sold Sunday Boho Unandi Kanu away for 30 pieces of silver. This was how much he sold them for. And Runo Mokri is calling everyone to watch out for Femi Fani Kayode. And guess what? This guy was received in a red carpet. He was received, you know, in a kind of way that you cannot begin to imagine. And Nigerians are just watching. They say, well, he sold them away for 30 pieces of silver. How true is that? You know, uh, I will tell you by now, you know, uh, Sunday Bo would have heard all that happened. And I wonder, truly, really speaking, how he's feeling where he is. I sincerely wonder how he's feeling. I sincerely, honestly wonder what he's feeling. Honestly, I truly, sincerely wonder what he's feeling and what is going on through his mind on account of, you know, Femi Fani Kayode, I, I, I don't know how he's taking it right now. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. How Femi Fani Kayode sold Unandi Kano Sunday Boho for 30 pieces of silver. Runo Omokri reveals all. Social political activist Runo Omokri has accused former evasion minister Femi Fani Kayode of selling Sunday Boho Unandi Kano. Social political activist Runo Mokri has accused former Vision Minister Femi Fani Kayode for selling Sunday Boho Onandi Kanu, Yoruba Nation Agitator and Piobrafa Agitator, following his deflection from the to the All Progressive Congress APC. Sunday Boho Onandi Kanu, especially Sunday Boho, was a close friend to Femi Fani Kayode. Omokri claimed that Femi Fani Kayode sold Kanu and Igboho for 30 pieces of silver. He wondered why Femi Fani Kayode joined the APC following the persecution of Kanu and Igboho by the same president, Muhammad Buhari, who he told the whole world has changed. The ex aide to President, to president Goodluck Jonathan in a series of tweets liking Femi Fani Kayode to the Biblical Judas Iscariot. He wrote, the People Democratic Party lost FFK and gained Shewu Sani. I would say that is Manchester United losing Songo Romeo and gaining Cristiano Ronaldo. This is a net gain. A net gain indeed. Congratulations, the People Democratic Party. Congratulations, former Shewu Sani. You say you are a friend of Sunday Boho. You call him your brother. You call Unandi Kano your friend and the brother. And one of the most courageous person you know. Yet, you sell them. You see what this demon in human flesh are doing? To those who are freedom fighter, they bring them around you. You think they are for you. You open up and you let yourself naked before them. Yet, you do not know that they were sent around you as spies. How can these... Two people who were close to you, whom you call brother and confide in you with regards to their struggle, who are in Buhari's trap right now, you join Buhari's party. Look at the 30 pieces of silver, all revealed. I would very much hate to be your friend and your brother because you betray them. So this is what is happening. This is the verdict coming up that he's a betrayer. And honestly, truth be told, He's won. All the disposition, everything points to the fact that he's sincerely and truly a betrayer. He called, you know, Sunday Boho, a very free man, 
open-hearted, easy going, thought he has found a brother, yeah, opened up and, you know, just opened up and just, you know, willingly let everything out, you know, and began to confide in a person he thought that they were discussing and the discussion was confidential, not knowing that the person you thought was with you is actually selling you out. The person you thought was your buddy and you thought you were in sync, you were in line together, is actually the one putting you out for the offer. Why the bargaining price is going on and you are wondering, what are they auctioning? Not knowing that you are the cause. You are the very object of the auction. This is what has happened to Sunday Boho Onandikano. You will see Sunday Boho and himself discussing in his house, having discussions and people were so happy. People were like, wow, there is one politician who is speaking for the people, who has the heart of the people, who cares for the people. And people thought that you really, truly, sincerely cared, not knowing that you were feeding back to the others. And I mean, with what Runo Mokri said, the truth is not very far-fetched from there. You see, Judas Iscariot was with Jesus and will come and ask Jesus, so what's the next plan? What do we do? Where are we going next? Blah, 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 blah. Of course, Jesus knew what, who he was and what he was after. That's why I told him, say, what you have to do, do it quick. You know, but as human beings, you know, we did not quite know that uh, this is the same Judas. Because if you remember, Judas Iscariot also ate with him on the table. Uh -huh, he did. They all ate the Passover, the manna together. And then it was like, oh, yeah, brothers, you know, having a meal, having a nice meal and discussing the way forward, not knowing that that was the beginning of the end. What are we talking about today? Femi Fani Kayode. Once a person who is not to be trusted, always a person to look out for. You know, you don't owe anybody to trust them, you see. You don't owe them to trust them. You owe people to love them. Oh, yes. Even the Bible says that you should love your neighbor as yourself. You should love. It's a mandatory requirement. But to trust, you will never... You were never mandated to trust anybody. So, Femi Fani Kayode is a, is, a, is a real case study to learn from. Oh, yes. Learn. Learn. Don't be dull of learning. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like, us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.